What's good, YouTube? It's your man BG Tech Life, and as you can see, we got the Pixel 7a on deck and coral looking lovely. I actually rocking my case that I got from Google when I specifically ordered this exclusive coral colorway. It came with a free case mate case, a clear one that matches this coral colorway. What y'all think about that? Really, honestly, as far as tech go, that's a piece of nostalgia for you because that happened like over six months ago. So you know how fast tech moves. But let's talk about this December update slash feature drop. Let's get straight into it. Okay, YouTube. So it is December and now we got all the information. The December update slash feature drop for the pixels all the way back to the pixel five is out. Now in true Google fashion, when I go to my settings, go to system and check for the update, it's not going to be there. That's just basically how true Google fashion has been going for a while. You literally have to wait for the update. They announce it, but it's not like a same day thing. It's not like when an announcement drop, your phone is ready to update. And the normally guys, when an official update drop, just for me to get it fast, I'll side load it. Don't want to do that this time. Like how my phone is set up and it's not super monumental. So I will definitely just wait for it to come over the air so I can just normally update and keep my device intact the way it is. Now, shout out to Droid Life. I just took the phone over to Droid Life because we're going to talk about it. This update has over 40 fixes. So this update is big on cleaning up everything that happened with Android 14. Now, me, myself, I've been enjoying Android 14 and haven't had any real issues, but there are a lot of fixes and there's different devices that need different fixes now, guys. You know, I'm on the Pixel 7a, you got the Pixel 8, 8 Pro, and you have the Pixel Foldy. So if you take a look, we got fixes that involve audio, battery and charging, biometrics, Bluetooth, camera, display and graphics, framework, location and GPS, sensors, system telephony user interface and there's a lot of user interface fixes i'll put the link to this actual article down in the description so you can check it out and see if any of the fixes that you need on your pixel are here as you can see also wi-fi fixes so definitely a heavy heavy update outside of the feature drop just fixing and polishing a lot of things that may have happened when we went over to Android 14, getting Android 14 completely dialed in because I believe this is the first update after Android 14. Now we can talk a little bit about the feature drop guys. This feature drop is more so, it has a lot to do with particularly the Pixel 8 Pro. I know for the Pixel 8 Pro and the Fold, they have some different things going on with the update. I know the Pixel 8 Pro specifically is getting video boosting and you got a camera view update for the Pixel Fold. So as far as the Pixel 7a go, we get some new features as far as the gallery and photos go, fixing photos and things of that nature. Now for you getting portrait lighting, that's a setting that can help with harsh light when it comes to taking selfies and photos and things of that nature. It can remove the harsh light. We getting a better photo um, blur that works better with animals and things of that nature. And also now, now I've covered this previously, but this was a beta. This is what was when I was on the QRP1 beta. Now you can use your Pixel as a webcam, even as far back as the Pixel 5. You can use a Type-C cable to plug up your Pixel 2 a laptop and actually use it as a webcam. It's gonna be in landscape mode. You can use the front or the rear camera. So that's very clutch or handy if you somebody with a weak webcam on your laptop or your PC. As it sits, my Pixel doesn't have the December update. I'm just gonna wait it out. Now, when I do get it, I may test some of these features out just to try more. I did try the webcam on beta, but now I wanna try it out now that it's native and actually in the official Android 14. And we can take a look at the photos app and maybe we can fix some photos and things of that nature. But I just wanted to share this information with y'all and put it out there. I've been doing this monthly and I know a lot of y'all that got the Pixel 7 they rock with me. So yeah, definitely we on the lookout for the update. BG is on the lookout for the update. BG is not siloing any more updates right now. I just like how my phone is set up and I don't feel like starting from scratch. But the December update for the Pixel 5 
in up it's definitely out there it's definitely a feature drop it's definitely some things to look for and hopefully soon guys we'll get some of these ai features because i feel like a lot of the ai features that the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro is getting or the pixel 8 pro specifically some of those features are not native to the phone they do have one ai feature that's native to the phone but some of this photography ai stuff is not native to the phone so i feel like it's not a big enough difference between the Tensor G2 and the Tensor G3 where we can't get some of these AI features in the future. I feel like right now, just the AI features are behind the paywall because Google has to sell their more expensive devices. But it's your boy BG Tech Life. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, get subscribed. I'm out. Peace.